Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a video for you guys. I just lost my flip flop. Um, basically gonna be talking about why I haven't made a video in the past week about my car or anything. I made an edit. This edit, I was like, you know what, since I can't really drive my car, I had some clips of my car earlier. Might as well make a pretty decent edit. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm really happy that you guys enjoyed it. I got a lot of good feedback about it. Um, if there's anything I could change about it, it's probably the song and the speed of the video. Um, but, you know, it was kind of rushed out. So what I did do today though um, was getting my car fixed. My friend got it fixed for me. There's a reason why I didn't actually have a video out last week. And that's mainly because my car was broken down. I wasn't able to drive it because of me burning out the ECU. And I, that all, you know, relates back to the Carly app. And I'll, I'll address that in a little bit. But for right now, um, I do want to let you guys know that I am releasing decals. They're going to look really, really sick. I'm having my friend design them. Uh, my cousin's also designing them. And so far, they're pretty dope. I'm also getting some sweatshirts for myself. I want to I wear, you know, something that relates to my channel. So I'm getting that order for myself. But decals are coming out. Um, hopefully, by the time I get up this video, there should be a link down in the description for decals. I'm going to be doing a buy one, get one um, on any decal you want. If you want to mix and match, just let me know. When you purchase it, there should be an option for you to, like, leave me a message or something. But, yeah, the best part about this is that I'm the one actually making the decals. Um, I went ahead and just bought the machine. It was a couple hundred bucks. It was a lot of money, but, you know... I really wanted to make the own decals myself rather than, you know, paying somebody else to make the decals, get it shipped to me, and then for me to ship it to you guys. It's just really inconvenient, and uh, if I'm going to start my own crew, I want to have it to where I can bring decals and give it to you guys at car meets. Um, and for those of you guys who are, you know, across wherever, you can still join the crew. The decals will be down in the description, and right now, like I said, it's buy one, get one. And not to forget, free shipping for everyone in the United States. It's only going to be like a couple, maybe 50 cents or a dollar if you live in Canada. Um, so it's not that big of a deal. I like, oh, we're outside the United States. Uh, but if you're inside the United States, also free shipping. So that's a plus. All right, so right now, um, the reason why I haven't got a, vid a video out, if you guys look at the car, there's been a lot of things going on lately. So I was going on to San Jose. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you guys follow me. Um, I do like all kinds of posts of my daily life and, you know, some sick pictures of my car. But basically, I went down to San Jose and I ended up hitting a bumper on the highway and it ripped off my lip. So this is all that remains from my lip. Rip my lip. I love this lip so much, but, you know, that's gone. The car is looking like, you know, it just kind of looks like, oh, my Lord. I didn't even notice that. Even the grill right here is just sticking out. It just broke off. Well, that's just great. I'm going to have to probably open up the bumper and fix that later. Um, but thankfully, the bumper just has a few cracks in the bottom. Nothing major. Nothing major, thankfully. When uh, Basically, what was happening, this was like 9 o'clock at night. Uh, I was going down to San Jose. My cousin ended up calling me. They're like, yo, you want to come over so we can hang out? Maybe go to uh, San Diego together. And I was like, yo, I'm down. Whew, man, it's actually... It's so cold. I'm trying to like... Oh my god, it's so cold. I, I probably have to stop wearing shirts now. I can't wait for my sweatshirt to come. But yeah, anyways, uh, I have sweatshirts. I'm not like that, but you know, I don't I don't really like wearing... I like, for some reason, wearing shirts in videos because I feel free. Um, but yeah, so basically when I was going down to San, San Jose that night, um, there was a... Co I was traveling 80 miles per hour. There's no cars on the highway. It was perfectly safe to travel 80 miles per hour. I'm not saying I should do it, but I mean... Yeah, I'm pretty sure all y'all do it. I'm just saying. And at it, like, I was driving behind the Civic mainly because it's the best way to do it. <laughs> um, and it happens to be a Civic. It's the best way to do it because if a cop's gonna come after you, he's not gonna come after the person behind the car. He's gonna come after the person leading the car. So I was like, yo, I'm behind this dude. No way I can get pulled over. Um, you know, common sense. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to make up an excuse if the cop pulls me up. I'm like, this guy's in front of me. Clearly, he's going faster. Yada yada yada. But this guy, out of nowhere, we're both traveling 80 miles per hour. His bumper just falls off his car. Now, it didn't just fall off like immediately. It came off one side. Um, you know, like it popped out of one side, and then when I saw it pop, I, I didn't really really see it, but when I saw it pop out, I started slowing down just a little bit. But like it popped out and came out really, really quick, and I didn't have that much time to respond to it. And basically, just fell in front of my car, and uh, pretty much I was just scraping. I was honking the horn, telling him to pull over, but he just kept on driving as if nothing happened. Pretty much a hit and run. That's just great, whatever. Um, I don't think insurance would have done much because it's an aftermarket part, and my bumper is cracked, but... That's aftermarket as well, and I don't really want to pay the whole $500, um, you know, it's like a co-payment or something to at least get your insurance involved. It's just really not worth it. So I was like, forget it. 
Um, I ripped the bumper out of my car. I was like stuck in the in the middle of my car. It was just terrible. I, I looked at the front of my car. My bumper was like pushed inwards. I pulled it out. It broke the tabs on both sides, but what are you gonna do? I mean, I put it back, I zip tied it. It looks pretty good. I mean, there's no problems right now. All right, guys, I'm gonna get a jacket on. It's so cold. Nah, I just got a jacket on. Thank goodness. I was actually like freezing. Oh man, that feels so much warmer. <laughs> yeah, guys, so I ended up just zip tying the bumper together. It looks all right. I'm not, you know, the bumper is fine, thankfully. If that bumper would have cracked, I would have been super upset. I sold my other bumper. Um, but that lip, I mean, that lip cost me more than the bumper. I mean, it's carbon fiber. It really stood out. I and mean, I, I basically ordered it because there's no other bumper online uh, that, you know, replicates this. I mean, no other lip online that replicates this lip. This lip was specified for aftermarket M3 bumpers. And I pretty much had a special order and everything. And I'm really, really upset that it had to go. But, you know, that's life. When I took it out and I started driving, you know, I was really, I was just like thinking about it. You know, this is just a part of my car. Luckily things could have been a whole lot worse. I could have lost my bumper. I could have you know, the bumper could have damaged underneath my car You know made a leak somewhere in my engine or my transmission It could have really really caused some serious damage I probably wouldn't be able to go to San Diego or San Jose or anything like that So I'm trying to look at it a bright side and that really worked out But then again losing $300 is not something you know pretty much almost $600 because my bumper is also cracked Losing $600 is not the best thing in the world, but you know, it's fine. You can live with it now to get back to the Carly. The Carly app is designed for you to basically diagnose your car if there's any problems, reset faults, and also code your car to do features that it wasn't given from factory. Now for me, I tried doing a lot of codes at once. I tried doing over maybe 15 codes all at once. Now, I didn't know that could it could result in any issues to your car. That a computer like you program it as if you download it on your computer, it's no big deal, you know, but just like computers, these things can get viruses or have problems or malfunction. So I didn't know that my car, um, so basically when I coded my car to do all these things, including an alarm system, I didn't know that was a feature, so I decided I'm doing it. I'm pretty sure that's the one I triggered it. But at the same time, I also, when they all downloaded, I pulled out the Carly adapter, so that probably could have triggered it. <sighs> oh my God, I'm talking so fast, I'm running out of breath, mainly because it's so cold. I don't know, like you can see, it's like, it doesn't look cold, but it is so cold. I don't know why, or maybe I'm just freezing. <sighs> I don't know why. But yeah, the Carly app basically fried my ECU. In other words, my car couldn't be driven. I tried, try, I, like literally as I was driving a BMW, I was trying to lease a four series. Uh, I was trying to see how much it would cost so I could set a goal for myself. And you know, it's fairly doable. It's like around 350 to $400 to lease one. Um, to finance one that's 2014 is gonna be the exact same price, but at least financing, I get to keep it one day. Rather, and I can modify it rather than a lease. It's a 2017, but I have to return it or I have to finance the rest of it. And the financing, the rest of it would be the same as just financing a 2014 right now. And there's not that much of a difference, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, that's, I don't know why I'm getting sidetracked. But basically, I was at BMW about the lease, and uh, when I stopped my car at BMW and I tried turning it back on, the car would not start. So uh, I was honestly starting to freak out. I'm like, really, my car can't start? This is embarrassing. It was making weird noises, and it wasn't really a place you wanted uh, you know, your car to break down at. But yeah, I, I mean, it is kind of a good place to break down, but at the same time, they're gonna keep in trying to push you to get their, your car fixed there. And I was just not in my cards, you know? I was, I was not intending on getting my car there fixed there. So what happened was that, night um you know i couldn't get any of my friends to come out so i ended up calling the tow truck they towed it back to my house luckily that was a triple a so it didn't cost me anything um once i got it back here my friends had an ecu at his shop so i ended up um just you know paying him to get over here he did the repair for free he even gave me the ecu for free he did the i don't know if it's an ecu it's some, it's some computer that allows to turn on the car and it's a little it's a little brain of the computer i'm not sure what it was but that fried because of me coding my car um, incorrectly or something or you know some malfunction happened when you're coding your car things can happen and I'm just for a warning to you guys if you ever use a Carly app um, you know or the Carly adapter it's the same stuff make sure you do one thing at a time so if something goes wrong you know what it is I coded all these things and I reset everything and I couldn't figure out what was going on mainly because you know I was really impatient but yeah Carly app destroyed my car the bumper on the highway destroyed my car, so I was just like, wow, you know, whatever, everything's good to go, just lost the lip, got a new computer or whatever in the car, everything's A-OK, -okay. um, gonna be pumping out some sick videos with my brother's car, we're starting to eat the, the, you know, the crew, so again, make sure you guys go down there, it's buy two, uh, it's buy one, get one right now, really, really good deal. 
making some sick decals. The decals are basically um, uh, to make a model of your car. So for me, I'm having a decal on my car, E9330i, you know, with the crew name. Um, it's gonna look super, super, super clean. And uh, you can have your car, your whatever, whatever decals you want for your car, you can specify it. Or if you just want Elite Euro, um, there's that as well. So yeah, guys, if you guys are looking forward for the crew, um, make sure you smash that like button and uh, Make sure if you end up getting one of those decals to so DM me because I want to post your car and feature it on the, the crew channel. Not the crew channel, the crew Instagram. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. With the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy, you know.